Hey there, thanks for tuning in. I'm Craig and welcome to the Entrepreneur Accelerator. Today we're going to talk about the language of affiliate marketing. You know, if you want to work in this industry and you want to really, you know, get started and really understand how it all works, the first place to start is understanding the language. Let's dive in. <music> All right, let's start with affiliate marketing. You know, really this is the basis of what we're starting here. So affiliate marketing is revenue sharing between online advertisers and merchants, I guess, and online publishers like bloggers or salespeople or, or digital marketers. Um, and the compensation or commissions are paid based on performance. So uh, if somebody clicks on your link and buys, you get a portion of that revenue, which is called the commission. So an affiliate. An affiliate marketer is the publisher or salesperson in affiliate marketing relationships. So that's usually the person that's doing the promotion, doing the actual marketing. What is an affiliate directory? An affiliate directory is a place where you can list various products and services. So it's a categorized listings of affiliate programs, affiliate networks. It's really just a place where you can go and find resources on affiliate marketing. There are many of them out there and you can even build one uh, you know, to actually become a revenue stream. So that's what an affiliate directory is. Affiliate fraud. This is something that isn't good for anybody, but really it's about bogus or fraudulent activity generated by an affiliate in an attempt to generate illegal unearned revenue. So this is, you know, signing up on one email and then buying through another uh, or many other different dangerous things you can do that really are, you know, probably going to get you banned uh, and really going to kill your earning potential. It's just something you don't want to do. Don't think you're being sneaky. Uh, you're not. It's, uh, you know, you're going to get caught and it's, it's just not going to be a sustainable long-term way of earning money online. Affiliate manager. So what's an affiliate manager? Affiliate manager is generally someone that works for a product company. They could be, you know, somebody that's really managing an affiliate program for, uh, you know, a particular product. You yourself can become an affiliate manager if you develop an info product and you want to have affiliates sell that product for you. You know, some are really good, some aren't so good. Uh, affiliate managers tend to really help their uh, affiliates with marketing tools, with strategy, with coaching, whatever they can to really help sell the product. Because it's in the best interest of the affiliate manager that the affiliates that they're managing, you know, are successful. Affiliate merchant. This is the advertiser. This is also the, the person that owns the product that's really, you know, trying to create something for the marketplace and then you know, this sometimes is also the affiliate manager. You know, sometimes one product, um, you know, a company may just have one product and one person building that. So it could be the same person, but really this is, uh, you know, that company that's selling the product. Affiliate network. This is a very exciting thing. Affiliate network is a value added intermediary between, uh, you know, these merchants and affiliates. So there's, there's a lot of networks out there that, you know, really match up uh, affiliates with uh, product producers. And so, you know, some of them are like JVZoo, ClickBank, Commission Junction. There's a whole bunch out there uh, that are really, you know, great places to find products to promote um, and, and really, you know, build your affiliate uh, business. Affiliate software. Now, affiliate software is the software that, uh, you know, affiliate merchants would use or the manager would use in order to provide you with a, that coded URL. You know, so this is the link that, you know, you are provided to the product, but it has your ID attached to it so that when someone clicks on it, you know, you're getting uh, that commission, it's tracking, you know, and allowing you to really kind of, you know, have an affiliate business. So there's a lot of different softwares out there, Ambassador, um, you know, many different ones out there that, you know, are useful in order to, you know, manage your entire affiliate program if you're building an affiliate program. Link cloaking. So this is something affiliates do a lot of. So Bitly and Click Magic for are two examples of this. And it's really about hiding links. So if you have a really long, you know, link from your uh, your merchant that is, you know, got your encoded uh, URL and your encoded ID in there, you can use something like Bitly to create a very short link that's easier to, to remember and easier to use. And then it comes with tracking too. So, you know, you cloak your links, which makes them shorter, easier to share, and then also you get tracking with that. So that's link cloaking. 
Commissions. I think most people know what commissions are. Really, this is the money you earn from the sales that you drive to a particular product or, or to companies. So, you know, if you sell $100 and the commission is 40%, $40 will be your commission. So this is the money you get for referring customers. Exclusivity. Now, this is a contract term or a legal term that really just means uh, you know, just one exclusive party grants access to the rights of something to just one particular party for a particular function. So sometimes you can get this in affiliate marketing where, uh, you know, a, a a product or a company that has a service will choose one marketer or several marketers just to have exclusive uh, you know access to promote something so this happens in this uh, industry a lot um, it's something that happens as you get a bit better and have uh, you know more relationships and build joint ventures with other uh, you know marketers and product builders a payment threshold. So when you become an affiliate, you uh, a lot of companies hold uh, you know a lot of the commissions that you earn until a certain level. So this is uh, you know a safety mechanism that just allows companies to you know hold some money until you've actually earned enough, so it's worthwhile to make the actual transaction. Return days are the number of days that an affiliate can earn commissions on a conversion. So sometimes people have 90 days or, or 30 days. So they'll hold the commission until that 30 days is passed to ensure that the, the customer hasn't returned the product and you can earn your commission. A super affiliate. Now, a super affiliate is really an affiliate of an affiliate. So for example, I am a super affiliate for ClickFunnels and I have about 40 or 50 affiliates below me and I earn commissions off of the sales that they make as well. So it's really a great place to be where now you're earning uh, you know, income and commissions off of your team. So becoming a super affiliate is a great way to really you know, grow your affiliate marketing business because you're scaling and you're using exponential uh, you know, strategies to grow your business. Two-tier affiliate program is also similar to that in that you have multiple tiers. So sometimes they'll pay uh, you know, a certain commission when you reach a certain income level. So say you're making $1,000 already with a particular product, they may bump you up to a tier where you go from 20% commission to 40% commission. So these are great programs. Uh, there's a few software companies out there that do these. JV or joint venture. This is very, very, um, popular amongst affiliate marketers. They join together in order to, to promote each other and to grow together. So these are great ways to really, you know, grow your network, get into other people's networks, you know, and build relationships. Because at the end of the day, affiliate marketing, just like any other business, is about relationships. You need to build those and those will help you create an actual sustainable, you know, online business. So. That's it for the language today. I hope that's been helpful. You know, I really, uh, you know, hope that you're just getting started on your journey and this has been helpful to kind of understand the language of affiliate marketing and hopefully this gives you a bit more, uh, you know, base understanding so that you can then, you know, get out there and really start to learn how to, you know, make money in affiliate marketing. So if you like this video, please like it below, subscribe and share. You know, we're just getting this channel started and I really appreciate all your support. So have a great day and uh, get out there and get to work on your business.